Hello curl friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jody, and it's great to have you join me today. So today I am in my living room setup. Welcome to my living room and welcome to another day where the sun can't decide if it's going to go behind clouds or stay out to play. So I have something new for you today, which I'm really excited about. If you know me, I am always testing curly hair products as far as things that you put in your hair, but we're trying something new. This company, Melody Susie reached out to me and asked if I would be willing to try their hair dryer. I did have some conditions with this. They did send me the hair dryer, but I wanted my thoughts to be completely my own. So this is not sponsored. I am not necessarily endorsing, but I am reviewing this for you guys. So I am going to introduce you to this hair dryer and then we will continue on. I'm going to show you clips of me actually using this in my bathroom and I'm not gonna fast forward through it at all. I want you to get the full experience for how long it does take. And so let me show you the hair dryer though. Now I currently have this dryer out of the box just so it's plugged in and ready to go for you guys. But I did want to show you this design here. It is a very sleek design. It, it resembles the Dyson. I mean, come on, we, I, that's what I think of first of all when I see this. It has that hollowed out center and the filter on the bottom here, there's uh, the power button here, and then there's the heat settings. There are three heat settings, and it shows up on the edge here with red dots. And then there's also cool shop. And then there are three wind speed settings, which show up with blue dots here, and that's the button there. It also came with two uh, nozzle attachments. One is a styler and one is a smoother. To be truthfully honest, I'm not sure really which one's which because I never really use these, but I have found that these are magnetic by the way but i have found that i can use this one and attach my old diffuser attachment that i use um and and that can work as well at the time when they first were sending me this product they did not have the diffuser but that came shortly afterwards so now you can buy the diffuser either separately or in a bundle and we'll get into that here in a little bit but this diffuser attachment once again is magnetic so you can buy all these products on Amazon. I'm going to have all the links down below. So check that out, check out their storefront, see what else they have to offer. Actually, I will say Melody Susie more so focuses on nail care, but they, I think they're trying to expand their brand a little bit. So let's get into how this hair dryer and diffuser works for me. Once again, like I said, I'm going to show you the clips of me hair drying or drying my hair in the bathroom. So let's get to that. Okay, curl friends, welcome to my bathroom. I am going to be putting on, or I have already put on the Curl Fresh Definer and the Biolage Styling Gel A at this point. And I'm just kind of showing you the hair dryer once again. We've already kind of gone over this where the power settings, the heat and the um, wind speed show up and everything like that. So let me tell you about my drying process. I start out with hover diffusing my, my curls. So I just basically hover the blow dryer around my hair and just kind of, not really set a cast but maybe sometimes you could feel a cast start to set and then after i've done that for a few minutes i start to pixie diffuse and if you're not familiar with that it's where i take sections of my hair i usually start out at four sections working my way around and i will just cup my curls into the diffuser and then turn the diffuser on normally i leave the or turn the diffuser off as i transition to the next section and then turn the diffuser back on once my hairs and the diffuser are in place if that makes any sense so usually i go around into four smaller sections and then the second time i go around i do three sections and in doing this i can just really see my curls shrink up especially by the second time i go around when i do it in three larger sections and then from that point on, I kind of do it based on how my curls feel. So I will flip from side to side, just kind of cupping my my curls around and everything like that. And sometimes I'll flip back over and diffuse once again, kind of in some of those sections as well. Always pixie diffusing though. I always put my cut my hair with the diffuser off and once everything is in place, then I'll turn the diffuser back on. The only time I ever leave the diffuser on as it travels around my hair is if I'm hover diffusing. So hope that helps. Now let's get into some of the specs of this hair dryer. 
This dryer boasts an overall superior experience with faster drying hair dryer and a powerful airflow. Experience the ultimate drying performance with the Melody Susie hair dryer. It's equipped with a high speed brushless motor that rotates at an impressive speed of 120,000 RPMs. This dryer delivers a stable, airflow, powerful airflow. With reduced drying time of just three to eight minutes, or as the company boasted to me, one to eight minutes, you can achieve salon grade results with half the time compared to, to traditional hair dryers. This dryer utilizes advanced negative ion technology, releasing 200 million negative ions during the drying process, 10 times more than the regular ionic dryers. These ions eliminate frizz, leaving your hair silky smooth and full of life. Additionally, the negative ions help to lock in the moisture, reducing hair breakage caused by over drying and enhancing natural shine of your hair. Protect your hair from heat damage with the Melody Susie's Hair Dryer's constant temperature control feature. Our smart chip monitors the air temperature 100 times per second, ensuring the optimal heat distribution throughout the entire drying process. It prevents overheating and minimizes the risk of heat damage, providing you with a safe and gentle drying experience while preserving the health and vitality of your hair. Now I do talk more about this later on. This dryer also boasts to have a whisper quiet brushless motor. Indulge in a tranquil hair drying experience with our hair dryer's low noise brushless motor. The innovative technology ensures whisper quiet operation, allowing you to dry your hair without any disruptive noise. Enjoy a peaceful atmosphere while effortlessly achieving your desired hairstyle. Say goodbye to noisy hair dryers and hello to a serene drying experience. There are four temperature settings and three wind speed settings. And according to the website, it says that the temperatures vary from room temperature to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I have had a different experience with this and I'll get more into that later, but there are also the three wind speed options allowing you to customize your drying experience. The intuitive indicator lights make it easy for you to, look, to select your desired settings. While the five foot nine inch power cord provides this ample length for convenient use for both at home and a professional salon setting. Okay, and that is all the specs about this hair dryer that I am aware of that I felt like it would be important for you guys to know. And let's just get into some more of my experience with this hair drying. So I don't know if you noticed when I was talking about my how I diffuse my hair, the process that I go through, I popped up a little white arrow. And I was trying to show at that point that the wind speed was blowing my curls around. At that point, I was hover diffusing and it was just blowing my curls around pretty good I'd say. In fact the wind was so much that just shortly after that arrow had popped up and it had maybe disappeared by that point but the toilet paper in the background kind of flipped over due to the wind speed so I feel like it was it's pretty intense. Now I do talk about this more a little bit later on and everything but with my other diffuser the one I had used before reviewing this one with the hair dryer and diffuser attachment, the wind speed really wasn't an issue at all. It would not disrupt my curls as I'd be hover diffusing. So um, yeah, that's quite a difference that I am not accustomed to. Now when I do start drying my hair, it is on pretty soaking wet hair. I, I like to style my hair on soaking wet hair. I feel like it helps my curls clump together better. Everyone's hair is different, so you may prefer to style on damp curls. It all depends on what your hair likes basically. But I prefer soaking wet curls and then I wet plop. Some people prefer just to micro plop which is where you take a towel, uh, usually like, like a microfiber towel, and just kind of cup your curls and maybe scrunch out a little bit of the moisture. I have just found that wet plopping really helps my curls absorb the the products that I put in I just feel like it helps lift the weight off a little yes there's still the water weight that is on my hair but I don't leave it on a terrible amount of time I just leave it on like 10 to 15 minutes and I just feel like this helps give me better root uh, curl pattern up there and I could be wrong maybe my hair is just getting healthier I need to try it again without wet plopping sometime here in the future just to experiment with this but I've always liked my results so much generally that I don't want to skip that step, if you know what I mean. So like I said, I prefer to wet plop. So my hair is at a very wet state than when I go to diffuse. I don't micro plop after that. 
I could try this is probably not going to be a huge game changer for me, I feel like, as far as time, but I could be wrong. So that is why my hair does take longer. And of course, my hair is on the longer side as well. It's not as longest length I've ever had, but it is definitely longer than what it was a few months ago. Okay, I have more thoughts on this hair dryer, which I will go over after I have finished this drying experience. I'm just gonna let you enjoy the music at this point. It's not too much longer. So I'll meet you back when I am done drying my hair. All right, since I only diffused my hair to about 90% dry, I did want to show you what the final product is looking like here. And I've only used the two stylers, so let me turn around and show you what the back is looking like. It's not the most easy thing to try to show you the back of my hair while on my couch. It's just positioning isn't the greatest. But anyways, I do like my hair. I do feel like I really don't have much frizz. And I mean, there's always going to be a little bit like my baby hairs coming in here. But to speak of, there really isn't much frizz. And when I was first trying this out, 
I was a little surprised by that because let's break down my thoughts. I have them broken down into several different categories. First of all, the timing. The timing to dry my hair to about 90% dry did take about 11 minutes almost. You could see by the little stopwatch that I had there. And so I know it does advertise to have it dried between one to eight minutes. I suppose if you had really short hair, like a guy's hair, and you didn't have this diffuser thing on there, it might only take one minute, especially if you towel dry your hair a lot. Now I have had it when I've tried some lighter products, like a single styler, and I've diffused my hair and it's been like right at the eight minute mark, but it's it doesn't happen very often for me. And I think part of that is because one, I style on soaking wet hair. And so that's definitely gonna take more time. Two, I also pixie diffuse. So there's a lot of stopping and starting in between there and repositioning my hair, whereas I don't have the dryer going constantly. So that's also gonna change the time a little bit. And three, I have a fair amount of hair. I mean, it's, it's getting longer. It's not the longest point I've ever had, but it just, it takes longer than a shorter haircut. Now, one of the reasons why I was really surprised that this hair dryer did not cause more frizz than what it than what it did. I mean, I've never gotten more frizz than this. This is consistent results for me, no matter how, what products I've used to style my hair. I've used different products every time. But one of the reasons is the wind speed on this. This wind speed is pretty intense. My hair dryer, I'm trying to think, at least with my diffuser on my other hair dryer, the wind speed is not this intense. I don't have anything to measure that necessarily, but you'll have to trust me on that. Even on the lowest setting, it is blowing my hair around and I never have that on my other dryer with the diffuser attachment. Now I have attached with the other, the nozzle and I've used my snozzle little rubber thing. You know, let me get that and show you what I'm talking about. Now here I've put the larger nozzle on here and this is my old diffuser and I do have to put it down to get this to attach correctly here but I can do it and it does work and it doesn't give you as much um, blowing of the air. Now this is prone to kind of flopping and falling off I found. So I'm not sure how often I would do that, but this also does when I do it with this hair dryer with this diffuser attachment, it also does help reduce the heat. And that's the other issue that I had with this hair dryer is the heat. Now on the Amazon website, they do have a list of temperatures that this thing is supposed to be at for each of the three settings. And maybe, I think the other one is, the cool shot is like a room temperature setting, but I don't find that to be the case. And I'm going to show you, I've used my meat thermometer. I checked all three temperatures, but I'm just gonna show you the lowest temperature setting here. Okay, I ran that thing for a while and the highest it showed was 170. But the crazy thing is I did this test last time I dried my hair and I did the meat thermometer. I did it at all three settings and my lowest temperature or the lowest heat setting on this dryer had gotten up to 200 degrees. And I tested that for a while just to see, you know, if that was just a fluke that raised that high for just a little bit of time, but it consistently stayed at 200 degrees. And I'm like, that is hot because when I am drying my hair, my scalp can feel the heat. And normally with my old diffuser and dryer, I could put the cup right up to my head, right up to my scalp and have these diffusing nozzles touch my scalp. Now, granted, these diffusers are built a lot differently. This one is deeper. It puts you further away from the heat source. I don't know all the intricacies on the inner parts of the diffuser, but like I told you, it does reduce the wind speed on this Octavia diffuser. Whereas this one, I feel more of the heat and the dryer does get warmer and than my old one. And this just doesn't diffuse the wind as much. So I think the diffuser attachment could use some adjustment. I think the dryer heat settings could use some adjustment. I don't know if I mentioned this, but with my old hair dryer, the lowest setting was at 120, and I usually diffuse on the middle setting, which is at 148. 
So my other hair dryer I had been using before this review is the Conair hair dryer paired with the Snozzle Pro and the Xtavia Black Orchid diffuser cup. So if you are interested in that, I'll leave all the information linked below in the description as well. I'm not sure what happened once again with the temperature checks, why it was so much hotter the previous wash when I checked all three heat settings on this, but today it was only showing like 170. So I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just know that this is hotter than I would care for, hotter than my scalp enjoys. Now there is the cool shot setting, but the problem with that is, is it's the same button as this heat setting. So literally when I turn this on, I'm going to show you and you're, you're going to hear it, but hopefully you'll be able to hear me talk clearly enough over this. I had this heat setting on, it's on the one. I press this again, it goes up to two. I press it again, it's up to three as far as the highest heat. In order to get the heat to go down, you have to press down again, and then you get the cool shot. So essentially, I have to press this button sometimes four times to even get the cool shot. And with it facing the other way, I don't know necessarily. It's not always easy to see. I can flip it up into the mirror and kind of look, see where I'm at, but it's not the easiest. I tend to like a cool shot button separately. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know how you guys feel about that. So I do like some of the features on it overall. I do like the smaller, more compact design of this. I do, that is really nice. Um, my other one is quite extended by the time I get all those um, extra attachments on it but I would like a little bit bigger cup, I feel like, for the diffusing, or one that one that just reduces the wind speed, one that also reduces the heat, so I can actually rest my curls or rest it up on my scalp to get in there to dry my hair. And I do, in some ways, like how these buttons are in some ways I don't. I wish they were actually featured in the front so I could tell which one I am pressing a little bit more easily not the end of the world. They do have a new dryer that came out, by the way. Um, they asked me if I was interested in reviewing that one. I said, let's see what my audience thinks first, but there are some changes in the button positions, and I believe that they have taken some of my concerns into consideration. I don't think it got put into this other hair dryer. Actually, I know it didn't. It was already out by the time I sent them my concerns for this, but supposedly some of these concerns maybe other people gave them were addressed in like the heat and the wind speed. So I've been told, I've not tried it. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I do like how they have the filter down here, but I would like it to be smaller. And I saw on the other, the newer hair dryer that they have out that it is down, like lower on the bottom. It doesn't take up so much space because I only have this much space basically to put my hand without either covering up the filter or pressing buttons. and. When you're moving things around, that's not that's not always the easiest. I have to be very careful. And also in the being very careful thing, like I said, I just pixie diffuse. And so I have to be very careful in how I place my finger. I usually rest it up here. So I'm like right above the power setting. So because I, like the first time I was trying this out, I found that I kept like hitting the fan speed, changing the fan speed or changing the temperature without realizing it. I thought I was hitting the power button. Anyways, I've kind of learned just to rest my finger above here and then press down a little or just go down a little bit and press the button. And, you know, it's just adapting to the new hair dryer. So like I said, oops, there are some features I like about this and I feel like there's a considerable amount to work on. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. Let me know if you're interested in seeing their updated hair dryer. See if they fix some of the issues that I felt like there were. And overall, just let me know what you think about this video. I hope you enjoyed this and, and leave comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And until I see you again next week, have a great day. Bye.